Welcome to this Google Apps screencast. In this screencast we're going to take a look at how to insert images into a Google site. So here I am at my site and I want to put some pictures on this page. There's, there's two ways to put pictures. I'm going to show you the first way and then the second way takes a little bit of an explanation. So I'm going to click on edit page to get into edit mode. I'm going to place my cursor where I want the picture to appear. So right here at the beginning of this text. I go up to insert and I click on image. This opens up the add image box. So here's the two ways that you can add a picture. One way is to upload an image. The other way is to copy and paste in a specific web address for where an image might be hosted. So uploading an image. Let's say you have an image that picture you took or a picture that you have the rights to use. You can click and make sure upload images is checked. Click on choose file and then you can navigate on your computer or maybe to your flash drive to where that picture is located and usually a JPEG or a PNG is a good graphic to put on a website. So I would click on the graphic I wanted to add, I would hit open, and then the, uh, the picture would take a little while to upload. So I've already uploaded one here, just to save time. So I click on that picture, and as you add more pictures, they'll all appear here. I hit OK, and now that picture adds itself into my page. Now this picture is huge. When you click on the picture, you will notice that there's this little bar that appears that has details on it with how, about how you can change the picture. So sizes are here in the middle. If you want the picture to be small, or you want it to be medium, or large, or whatever the original size of the picture or the graphic was. That's what's here in the middle. On the left side, I'm going to put this back to small just so it's easier to play with. On the left side here, this is your align choices. So if I want the image to be aligned to the left side of the box that it's in, the center, or even the right side. Those are the choices I get there. So I'm going to align this back to the left. These choices over here, wrap on means when I click it, that the text will wrap around the picture. That tends to be a good choice for a graphic. Uh, otherwise, if I turn wrap off, that means that the, the picture is just all by itself and that the text won't get anywhere near the picture. This would be a good uh, place if I was going to center this and I wanted to start with a picture and then text below it, that's when I would have wrap off. If I put the picture back to the left and I click wrap on, if I wanted to wrap kind of like you picture a, a, an image in a newspaper or a magazine article, wrap on allows that to happen. If you wanted to get rid of the picture when you're clicked on it and you're on the little bar here, you can click the X and that will get rid of the picture. So that's one way to add a picture. The other way to add a picture is let's say you navigate to a website and you find a picture you can right click on a picture or control click and you get choices to save the image or copy the image URL which means the images web address you can do copy image URL and I go back here and I go back in and I place my cursor where I want the picture I do an insert image I choose the web address and here I paste by doing command V or control V if you're using a Windows machine to paste the image in. So if the image shows, I can hit OK, and now that image will copy into my site. And all the same stuff applies with size and being able to align it and do word wrap. Now one thing you have to think about is the rights of a picture. It's not, it's not good, it's not legal to just go take pictures from any site. So very quickly I want to show you, if you go to Google Images, so I went to Google and I clicked on Images, if you do an image search using the advanced properties, and the advanced properties are now found under this little gear on the top right. So I'm going to do an advanced image search. Let's say I want to find a picture of an iPad. And there's all these other choices here. I can choose certain sizes. I can try to get certain colors. The main choice that we want students to be aware of is down here at the bottom, this usage rights choice. It's good when searching for a picture to choose free to use or share. This means now that any pictures that come back for that search topic are maybe pictures that people took that they have set to be able to, for anyone to use them. Uh, they're not copyrighted images. So let's say I wanted a picture of an iPad. This one's good. Somebody just holding an iPad in their hands. So if I click on that picture, I usually go here to where it says see the full size image and that is the picture address or the actual image that I will save. So that is how you do a search using Google Images for non-copyrighted images. So that would be a good way to do this when trying to find pictures for your site so you're not 
uh, stealing images. Wherever you get your image from, it's a good idea to go to your bibliography page, edit that page. So if I go into edit mode, and I'm going to put iPad, Word, Cloud, Image. I'm going to highlight that text, and I'm going to link that to the URL, which is a web address. I'm going to link that by pasting that address in for that, that image I did earlier. I'm going to check this box to open the link in the new window. I like making sure people can stay at my site, and if something opens, it opens as a separate window so they don't lose their way away from my site. So that is how I can, and I'll make a note here afterwards, home page. That is how I can give credit to where I got the image from. So if I save this, then your teacher or whoever is, is looking at your web page, if they come here and they click on iPad Word Cloud image, they'll be taken to the actual site where the picture was from. So that is how you can give proper credit to where you got your pictures from. So a few steps, but hopefully that makes sense, and please follow the copyright laws that are out there. Thank you for watching.